Vivekananda ji who said that the only way to truly know something is through the direct experience of it. Yes, exactly. When I had my initial meetings and there would be a senior RSS Pracharak uh, holding the session, it always begins by asking everyone who's present there to introduce themselves. And you have to say your full name. So every time I would say Sinu Joseph, I would assume and wait, okay, now there's going to be that jibe about conversion or some yes, remark yes. like that. You know, I would just hold my breath and wait for it. But I was always taken aback and really surprised that they would throw in stories from the Bible. Yeah. They would tell me incidents of what Jesus did. These things would be added into the conversation and addressed in a very general manner. And even when I met people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and they would understand my work in the social space, without any hesitation they would remark, oh, you come from a Christian background, they do a lot of charity, maybe that's where you learned it from. And it's funny because I did not learn charity, I learned seva and I learned that from the RSS. And seva does not mean that you do someone a favor. Hmm. It means that you thank them for the opportunity to serve them. So everything that I have learned has come from who we fear. And this fear is often something that's there in the mind. I have seen WhatsApp groups of churches where they're simply spreading rumors that if the BJP comes to power, all the churches will be destructed, destroyed. Yes. So when have you seen this happen? Do you have any concrete evidence of this having happened? Have you ever made that effort to go out there and meet these people who you are so fearful about? When I was working once with Vanavasi Kalyan Ashram, and there are so many organizations that we would not even know the names of, they do amazing work in a place called Dandeli, a hilly area, a tribal area. This RSS woman, she took us to a place which was a church, and she said, this is where we do all our sessions. I said, in a church? Is the priest okay with it? She said, yes, there, is, there are no other houses nearby and uh, we are perfectly fine with it. When the church does uh, its masses, they do it. When we need to do something, they're perfectly fine with it. I said, people just don't know this. Because those who are living with this fear never step out and go and meet the others, mm. as Madam just spoke. So I think that effort has to be made. It happened for me by chance and I'm so grateful for it. But I yes. hope that the others make that extra effort yes. to go and see it. Fine, you're not comfortable talking to them, okay. There are so many seva activities that they do. Enroll in one of them. Go and see how they work, the effort that they put in. They live with bare minimum. They carry nothing on them. The women work so tirelessly, walking on foot, hardly with any amount, just to serve people. They don't get any recognition. None of us know their names. And that is something we really need to see in order to understand.